Let's be honest, Mandy Pattinson says. The beard is far more loved and famous than I am. H.E. sitting in a New York apartment crowded with art and photos and antiques. Not fussy antiques, but the chipped, comfortable, roadside stand kind. His beard, which starts out pepper and declines to salt, oscillates between Mephistopheles and Mountain Man. Today it's somewhere in the middle. On the set of Homeland, where Pattinson is having a late career renaissance as the CIA daddy bear Saul Berenson, Pattinson has had a dedicated beard groomer every, except for the sixth, which was filmed in New York. Every minute another person was touching me, and it was making me crazy, he says. And so I insisted, it was the only time I insisted in all the years, I need one person who can do this right. That, he says, was my one Mandy Pattinson is difficult moment in my homeland journey. Pattinson, a tier Yerkatena, a leading interpreter of Stephen Sondheim, and for years a primetime US TV star, used to have a reputation as difficult, exacting, impossible. He won an Emmy for his work on Chicago Hope and then left the show. He walked away from criminal minds when he couldn't countenance the storylines. At 65, he hasn't exactly mellowed. He has been critical of the Trump administration and went after Ted Cruz when he learned Cruz was quoting his Princess Bride lines. His work with the International Rescue Committee has made him an outspoken advocate for refugees. Outspoken is pretty much his default. Saying that you have to be afraid of these people because they're all terrorists, it's not even, it's lies, he says. In this post-truth world, it's lies. Pattinson as Inigo Montoya in The Princess Bride 1987. Photograph, All-Star, 20th Century Fox The emotionalism he has always brought to his work HASNT slackened. When he recorded Diary, January 27, 2018, the first in his new series of albums, he had to reject several takes because the feelings were too extreme. I'm a very emotional fellow, he says. Good for work. Not so good for life. He tears up a few times during the interview, once while talking about children and art, a Sondheim track HES recorded. But experience and a behavioral therapist have taught him to make space, to do less, to keep the Mandy Pattinson is difficult moments to a minimum. He has just returned from a trip to Uganda, where he and his wife, the actor and writer Catherine Grody, visited refugees, some of them fleeing the violence in South Sudan. They would literally cut off their arm in front of you for your worst day on this planet, he says. And that changes you in a really long-term, rooted way. It's not that I don't have bad days anymore, that I don't complain, but it ain't the same. The pair take a trip like this every year when Homeland finishes filming. It's an apology for escaping from the world for seven months, a way of reconnecting to reality. I spend more time on this planet in an imagined world, than in the real world, he says. I'm much more comfortable in an imagined state. Reality, for me not so good. The album, a collection of ten covers ranging from Randy Newman to the Faroe songwriter Tater to Mark Bolan, seems to live in that imagination. It's tender, personal, largely apolitical. One exception, the plaintive Rufus Wainwright's song Going to a Town, in which, with Wainwright's permission, he substituted the word Jerusalem for America. He characterizes it as a prayer for peace. But otherwise the music mostly ignores what he calls a moral, ethical crisis that's going on all over the globe. I think it is our obligation on Homeland to create an optimistic possibility were broken, he says. Not just broken-hearted, but he argues that art is different from activism. If activism is about calling attention to the problems that persist, art is about presenting possibilities and alternatives. The album, he says, is a work of positive, hopeful, optimistic energy. That intention seems mostly absent from Homeland, a series about a brilliant, troubled CIA operative played by Claire Danes, that offers few hopeful lessons about the world and its workings. Its earliest drew accusations of stoking Islamophobia. We all spoke about correcting it. And we did correct it in future storylines, he says. The series has reminded viewers of Pattinson's talents, compassion, authority, gravitas, and turned him into an occasional symbol. Make that a headline, he says. It won't bother me. It has also given him a platform for his politics, which have sometimes appeared at odds with the series' own, though he won't put it so bluntly. Pattinson sings Dayton, Ohio, 1903, by Randy Newman, from his new album. The past severals, which have involved an embattled American president, have had moments of overwhelming prescience, which doesn't sit so comfortably with him. 
Pattinson says that over the years he has argued to Alex Ganser, the creator and showrunner, that we are not here to be a Polaroid or a reality television show. We're a fictional form, he says. And therefore, I think it is our obligation to create an optimistic possibility. I ask what possibilities the final, the show's eighth, might offer. Maybe world peace, not that one, he says, but you're not cold in terms of poetic, dramatic offerings. Pattington worried about how he'll feel when Homeland ends. His family likes him better when H.E.S. playing Soul, he says, and he knows he'll feel unmoored without the role. It's one of the reasons he has returned to his music, a real anchor in my soul. H.E.'s finishing the second Diary album, H.E.S. planning a 90-minute concert, he'd like to do more theatre. He quotes the final line from Sondheim's Sunday in the Park with George, so many possibilities. Diary, January 27, 2018 by Mandy Pattinkin is on none such. This article contains affiliate links, which means we may earn a small commission if a reader clicks through and makes a purchase. All our journalism is independent and is in no way influenced by any advertiser or commercial initiative. The links are powered by Skimlinks. By clicking on an affiliate link, you accept that Skimlinks cookies will be set. More information.